Hey guys, it's the Kawaii Twin, and in today's video, I'm gonna be following a Japanese makeup tutorial. So, without further ado, let's get right to the video. So I was searching up on the line and I wanted to find some really cute Japanese makeup looks and I ended up coming across this video. It's quite an old video by Kawaii International and the beautiful model Risa Nakamura did sort of a tutorial on how she does this sort of dolly, cute eye makeup. Um, I decided to follow the steps and do a video on it so you guys can see if it actually works or not. So I already put some foundation and a little bit of blush for my cheeks that way I don't look dead. Um, and I did my eyebrows as well so this is more of like an eye makeup look which I I'm really really excited to try to see if it can make my eye look big and very dolly like so let's go watch this video and see if we can follow the exact instructions and see if it all works out I'm probably going to be putting the video that I'm watching on this side over here or the other side I'm not too sure um, so that you guys get to see exactly what I'm looking at and if you guys want to try it out as well for yourselves we can do this all together I think that'd be a lot of fun so yes this is an NHK world video I, like I said it's really really old um, but I really wanted to try this look out I think I saw this the first time when I was like 13 um, and I was super super excited to try it out I never did but today's the day that I'm actually going to try them out She's already really, really beautiful without like any sort of like eye makeup. So we're gonna see if this actually um, works and makes this look super kawaii. Oh, so she uses a lot of browns. It seems like maybe browns are more for like the eye makeup, and then she uses a lot of pinks, like lipstick and blush, to create that girly look. So she's gonna apply the cream base that's on the left. So I'm going to be using this little brush right here and I'm going to start using like a cream base color like she used. So it seems that like this is going to be sort of like the base of the eye makeup and it's going to probably help us brighten up the eye. So sometimes I like to put it like up here too, just so that it's like a nice base all over. Perfect. I don't think that did anything, but it's a base. It's a start, guys. So she applied that all over her eye. Like I said, yeah, it's probably to brighten up the eye and then she's using this sort of shimmery brown color. Um, right over there uh, blah, 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 on the eyelid crease so I guess this is not going to be all over this is more on the actual like eyelid so using my other palette I'm going to grab this sort of shimmery um, brown color and I'm going to apply that onto my um, eyelid so let's let's do that right here so it seems like this look is like rather natural it doesn't seem to be like too intense which I really really like I feel like she probably puts more effort into like the blush and like the lipstick so that it doesn't look like too much and then i'm gonna do the exact same thing onto the other eye when i was like 13 i used to do like eye makeup um like i would go overboard so i would add a bunch of like glittery pink and then i would layer on some more glitter and it's just it was a lot of shimmery colors on my eye and i ended up looking like a clown um yeah not very cute so i like that she's doing a lot of like natural colors right here so with the same color it seems like that she put it under her eye um, so I'm gonna do just that. I'm gonna grab that same brown color that I used and I'm gonna put that under my eye. I really like that she's doing this because I do feel like it's gonna open up the eye a lot. So she's gonna be using a brown shadow and she's gonna put it on her one third from her lower eye. Okay, so let's try this. I think I'm gonna change my brush. I think I'm gonna use like this little sort of brush. You guys probably can't see that. I'm so sorry about that. Um, Anywho, I'm going to grab my um, kind of a light brown color here and I'm going to apply that. Okay, so then now I'm just going to blend this right here. It seems like maybe she's trying to create some sort of like a shadow here. I don't even know if I'm doing this correctly. I'm actually not that great at doing makeup, guys, so don't come at me in the comments. Um, but anywho, I think that's kind of what she did. So let's see the next steps. So she's going to apply some eyeliner. And she's using a brown eyeliner, which is great because that's what I have. Let's see. She's doing a very, very thin line. And she's doing the eyeliner downward. Interesting. Okay, so she did a really, really thin line, which I don't naturally do. I always tend to do this sort of like cat eye look, kind of. Um, I do like my eyeliner really, really thick. So this is interesting. Let's see if this actually works out. So I'm going to be using this um, liquid eyeliner that I got from Japan. So I'm like not the best at doing eyeliner on camera. So let's see how this goes. So now I'm just going to sort of pull this towards like 
the bottom. Okay, so I finished with the eyeliner. Um, I think it made my eye look a lot bigger and it looks really, really cute. Yeah, let's see what else Lisa has in store for us. So now she's just adding some um, mascara. She's going to be using some fake eyelashes. But I'm probably not going to do that because I don't have any fake lashes. And even if I did, I have no idea how to apply them. Um, so yeah, let's try that out. So I'm going to just apply mascara. You guys probably know how to do this. I already curled my eyelashes beforehand. So my eyelashes are nice and curled cuter. Okay, so I already applied mascara, um, so let's see what else she does. She's going to apply some blush, so I'm going to do just that. Oh my god, I absolutely love this palette. Um, I've been to a lot of like Japanese um, makeup stores, and they have this palette. It's really expensive though, but it's super, super cute. Could this work? <laughs> let's go for that. So I'm going to apply some of my pink little um, blush, I guess. And I'm going to put it right here. I hope this is doing something to be honest like I don't even know this is doing anything and you guys can probably see that I don't know how to do makeup whatsoever so that's why I'm using this okay so after she applied a blush let's see what she's doing here let's see she put some blush under her eyes interesting okay well then let's try that um let's try that right now so now let's apply this baby under the eye so she said she did it only like um under the iris so I guess she just did it in like this little bit right here. I am not too sure. I'm just going to do it. Adding some gloss on it. So um, I don't have anything that's glossy. So I think I'm going to be using like my pink like lipstick that I got from Japan. Um, that is such a cute color. I'm going to be using this kind of tangled. Oh, you guys probably can't see this. Oh, no. Anywho, I got this from Japan. I'll probably put like a picture around here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But anywho, just use any sort of pink glossy color like she's using. Uh, I'm going to use this pink color. She has super cute plump lips. I wish I had cute plump lips. But anywho, let's apply a bunch of this lipstick to see if we can create some sort of plumpness somewhere there. I feel like this look is super, super natural. Like you can literally use this like an everyday look. So she said to use an orange red color to match her cheeks. Because I used a very, very like pink, like a pastel pink color for my cheeks. I think the lipstick went perfectly and she is done with her look. She looks super, super cute. Um, she's already really beautiful, so I think that worked really well. Please, please, please do not forget to subscribe. Um, we want to create this really, really cute community for you guys where you guys get to be informed of a bunch of the kawaii community um, and anything Japan related. We really, really, really want to get um, 500 subscribers by the end of this year, so we're working really, really hard to make as much content and kawaii content for you guys. And it really, really motivates us to see you guys comment on to our videos and even subscribe because it just pushes us to work harder and make cuter content for you guys. We post a lot of really cute um, pictures and cute feed and anything that you guys see on our YouTube channel, you guys will probably see on our Instagram post, such as um, my sister's desserts that are super, super cute. Thank you so, so much for watching, guys. We really appreciate every single one of you guys who watches our videos. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.